Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Lexi's Budget Bunker Build and uh, good morning or good afternoon or good evening to you all whatever the case may be so uh, today's plan is to um, get stuck into the retaining wall if you recall uh, from the last episode I was um, getting ready to uh, put in another layer of retaining wall and this one will have the anchor points in it so that'll have the um, then I'll drill the holes with the auger and concrete in some rebar with some threaded rod and um, that just secures that layer, you know, nice and solid into the ground and um, it provides the anchor points provide, on one side at least, provide um, anchor points for the elevator um, tracking. So um, I'm getting pretty close to being able to put in another section of elevator tracking so, um, and I need some anchor points for that. So, uh, with no further ado, thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you down in the bunker shaft. Cheers. Well, the first job is to mark out where my holes are going to go. So, what I've got here is a uh, bit of a homemade plumb bob. I do actually have a proper one, but I can't find it. And, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to when I get all this. Uh, this bunker workshop done. I can get all my tools organised a bit better. I just don't have room for them all properly at the moment. Right, so that's it's actually not. So it's hanging off the old uh, what one of the existing anchors because it's hanging down one side. So it's not quite not quite centred. How am I going to do this? It's going to be awkward. Oh, I mean, it, it, whoops. at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be within a millimetre, just um, sort of close, basically. And then I just, like that. oh Jesus, that doesn't draw very well, does it? Let's uh, not find the centre of that. Uh, 210 I'll okay. uh, that at 105 for the middle there we go one down time to drill some holes now Next job is to drive in some lengths of rebar, <coughs> which will uh, so I'll drive the lengths of rebar in these holes, and then take the wood off, and then that'll um, give me the guide for where I do the augering.
Yeah, I can probably pull these steel rods out now because there's a oh I don't know if that actually went into the mud that one. Sure it did. Maybe it didn't. Let's try this one. Rods out. Oh, can hold it. That one definitely went in. Now, cut around there to um, accommodate the auger. So the auger's a hundred mils. center give or take There you go guys, got all six holes drilled out. So these go in, um, I haven't actually measured them, but as you can see, quite a weight. Probably over, I don't know, probably maybe 500 mil. It's plenty. And I like the way this is, um, you can see, I don't know if you can see this in the, you should better see this in the, in the film. Um, the auger is created like a, almost like a thread inside the hole, so that's that's actually going to help the um, concrete key in there. And of course, with the um, the Patreon concrete vibrator, it's going to get into all those all of those grooves. And um, I think the concrete are really key into those holes really well. So the next job is to uh, make up the rebar uh, rods with the thread rods on the end, and um, then come down and fit them.
friends, here we are back down in the bunker shaft and um, just preparing to put the first, first of the rods in. I've got some cement mixed up there. Bad boy interaction. The Patreon vibrator. Concrete vibrator. And he just fits in here. <laughs> Settling it, um, settling it into the hole. This mix is a bit wet. Possibly. Yeah, I want to get it in there, out there. Mm. There we go. Let's get this as far out as we want it. Far as I want to have, have enough thread to uh, all right, that's about should be about 60 mil of thread poking out. Ah, uh, yeah, it's way too. I made that, it's way too wet. that's um that's it for today so i've got um all of these anchor points concreted in and um you can see i've covered the ends of them with um masking tape uh the first first ones i put in i didn't do that and i got cement on them and it was a, a challenge to get the nuts on afterwards it took a lot of cleaning so i've got them in and what i've also done um has got the um in the previously i've I've let them set, then put the wood on, and of course, it doesn't always line up exactly, and I have to end up widening the holes. So I thought, well, if I carefully put the wood on now, um, and then settle the concrete down, and once that sets, um, then they're in the perfect position. So um, yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. It's actually a good day's work. Yeah, I've had a bit of a clean up down here as well, because uh, you saw me drilling earlier, so I didn't want any of that sawdust to end up in the sump. So I've given the whole thing a good scrape. And um, during the week, I've had a couple of little 
little goes at the uh, side tunnel. So you can see there's actually quite an alcove in there now. Building up. And I'll continue that on as I go down. So I'm slightly bringing it back here. And um, when I get down to... I did work it out. I think 2.2 uh, metres. Um, then I'll start putting some foundations in. And can start building the side walls. And um, once they're up to the top, of course, then I can start putting the roof in. So it's a long way to go, but um, steady progress. Your friends, so that wraps it up for this weekend. As I say, I'm pretty pleased with that progress. And um, I'll let that concrete set now over the week. And then next week I can, um, what I'll do is I'll take the wood back off and I'll seal behind it uh, with some more core flute. With just like a pole for the um for the threaded rod so it's quite a tight fit and then um put the wood back on and i can bolt it on then and it can sort of stay on so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh if you've liked this video thank you for that and um also if you're enjoying these videos and you haven't subscribed yet then please do because it um it means you won't miss out on any videos and it uh, obviously helps the channel so really appreciate that and a big shout out to my Patreons. So the um, Patreon Concrete Vibrator did some work today and it was actually really good. I think it's going to um, really show its worth when I start doing the hollow blocks and filling them with concrete and doing the roof. I think that's where it's really going to come into its own. But it certainly was helpful today. It um, helped settle that concrete back into those holes. So cheers guys for, for your support because that made that possible. And um, yep, I'm starting to ramble again so <laughs> i'll say it once again i'll say thanks guys and um have a great week look after yourselves out there and uh see you next weekend and as this next out